At the age of five, you know, I got shot. Growing up in the city of Baltimore was challenging. You know, as a kid, you know, it was a lot of drug infested areas in our neighborhood, uh, a lot of shooting, a lot of violence. Um, unfortunately for me, at the age of five, you know, I got shot, you know, being outside, being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, my mom and dad was going crazy, not knowing that I was outside and then knowing that, you know, I was one of the kids laying out there with a couple buckshots all over his body was very frightening and scary for them as well as myself. You know, things can happen once you go outside the door. And uh, for me, you know, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. A fight broke out. Uh, they bust the old man Chester's uh, window. He decided to come outside and, and you know, wreak habit, and, 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 uh, so to speak, in terms of take out uh, some frustration. So he went in this shed and grabbed his double barrel shotgun and just started firing into the crowd amongst all these kids. And it's like I said, unfortunately, I was one of the kids that got hit. Things that happened, happened to me in my life allowed me to reflect, allowed me to, you know, to resonate who I am, you know, especially when I got shot, you know, those things became so clear in terms of, hey, I almost wasn't here, you know, so why I have to worry about what someone else said that could hurt me and deteriorate me from becoming who I want to be. So, you know, that changed my mindset. You know, I remember early on when I used to go down on the court with my basketball and hearing all the words and hearing all the, you know, the criticism about me being short. Um, but after I got shot, I remember going back down there and hearing those same criticism about myself, but it didn't have the same impact. You know, it went in one ear out other, as I alluded to earlier. So I think that has something to do with it. You know, it had a lot to do with my mindset in terms of, you know, what I thought and, and what I believed and it allowed me to, you know, enter a platform that, you know, not many was able to accomplish at my height. You know, you have to go through those things in order to to see the light at the, the end of the, the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I don't think anything is gonna just be like this throughout your life. You know, you have to go through that difficult, overcome obstacles. You know, because it's it, it's a testament of your character or who you are and how you're able to deal with certain things in order to get yourself back on that playing field. Well, the projects is uh, low income housing. You know, it's more predicated to a housing authority. Um, you have high rise buildings, high rise buildings, and apartments stacked on top of one another, as well as low-rise uh, apartments. Um, and that's the way, you know, low-income families, you know, live. And that's how we was able to, you know, that was the atmosphere that we grew up in. Uh, we didn't know anything other than that, you know, because we didn't experience anything outside of it, um, besides what you saw on TV. Um, but it was, uh, it was our life, you know, it was a man of growing up, I mean, no one felt like they, no one thought they have a life expectancy past 20, you know, and that, which was very strange, you know, knowing that that was the case, but that was the mindset back then because we had a lot of guys at a young age dying, uh, mainly because, you know, they wanted that fast money. They wanted to get into that world a lot sooner and uh, they wanted to, you know, possibly take care of their family as well as want something good um, to try to provide for their, you know, for their household. So. You know, people did all sorts of things in terms of trying to make ends meet, but, uh, you know, that was, a, again, that was the neighborhood and the atmosphere that we grew up in. Well, luckily that we had a game called basketball and sports. You know, sports was really uh, a mechanism that kept us really at a safe, it kept us, uh, where it gave us a safe haven place to really feel comfortable at. Uh, football, baseball, uh, basketball, ran track, I was a wrestler. You know, we had a a lot of sports take place in the neighborhood. You know, we had a lot of projects, uh, challenges against one another. That was the competition. You know, Lafayette against Latrobe, against uh, uh, Madison, against uh, uh, Cherry Hill. So you had different neighborhoods, uh, you know, competing against one another. And we had all sorts of sports. So that was a way of keeping us, you know, off the streets, keeping our mind, you know, active in other areas, as opposed to thinking about, you know, hey, it's time to try to, you know, go over and get a few of those quick dollars. But uh, sports was, uh, you know, was a place where it really kept a lot of kids uh, safe. Well, I think God created us as He, as He put you in, puts you in, uh, right in front of you. You know, and He, I have no, you know, I never second guess Him what He was able to do for me. Um, I think I was born this way, you know, with the idea to take on those type of challenges, to face those type of challenges. The things that happened, happened to me in my life allowed me to reflect, allowed me to, you know, 
to resonate who I am, you know, especially when I got shot. You know, those things became so clear in terms of, hey, I almost wasn't here, you know, so why I have to worry about what someone else said that could hurt me and deteriorate me from becoming who I want to be. So, you know, that changed my mindset. You know, I remember early on when I used to go down on the court with my basketball and hearing all the words and hearing all the, you know, the criticism about me being short. Um, but after I got shot, I remember going back down there and hearing those same criticism about myself, but it didn't have the same impact. You know, it went in one ear out other, as I alluded to earlier. So I think that has something to do with it. You know, it had a lot to do with my mindset in terms of, you know, what I thought and, and what I believed and it allowed me to, you know, enter a platform that, you know, not many was able to accomplish at my height. I mean, life, we can't escape anything that goes on with life. You know, we all are not immune to problems, or drama, or trauma, or tragedy. You know, we all are here as human beings. So, you know, when you're going through some sort of difficulties, you know, first find out whatever that difficulty may be. You know, for me, I like to pray, I like to give it to the man upstairs and, and, and get strength from him. You know, and at the same time, and whatever after we give it to him, you know, we do with, uh, with, 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 with within your power in terms of how to start slowly, you know, get yourself out of that situation. Um, but for one, you know, you give it to the man, you know, you do all within your power and, uh, and you believe, you be optimistic about it. You know, being negative about a situation, staying in that place, it never helps. You know, it's nothing wrong with understanding that place, feeling bad about it, looking at it for what it is, but don't stay there. You gotta get back on that other side and start looking at the resolve, the resolution of it, or how can I get back to feeling good and feeling prosperous again to where I'm not dealing with this obstacle. You know, anything is possible. Um, positive thinking is also translates to that. You know, so, um, you know, when you have something that's positive out there, you can be, you know, the best you can be, you know. When you're negative out there, I mean, you could bring down the worst person, you know. Misery loves company, you know, misery loves company. So we, we not Debbie Downers, we more uplifters. You know, we always, no matter what the situation, what the situation is, we're gonna try to look for the outcome, the better of that situation, you know. Um, if we and if we can't find a resolution to get out of it, you know, we're gonna keep on searching to continue to try to find a resolution to get out of it because that's what you do. You know, that's how you get to the bottom of. It. That's how you get to the facts and the answers. Oh, adversity always prepare you. You know, you have to go through those things in order to see the light of the, the end of the, the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I don't think anything is gonna just be like this throughout your life. You know, you have to go through that difficult, overcome obstacle. You know, because it's, it's a testament of your character or who you are and how you're able to deal with certain things in order to get yourself back on that playing field.